ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope you're having an awesome Sunday unless you live in, in the western parts of North Carolina like Asheville, Boone, where they got hit pretty hard with the tropical storm or Hurricane Helen last week. So that, they're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do in that region. It's going to be a while. So keep your heads up. Please keep your head up. Now, as far as the today's game between the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Carolina Panthers, hey, the Cincinnati Bengals got their first win of the year, 34-24 is the final score over my Carolina Panthers. Congratulations to that team. They made more plays than my Carolina Panthers. Not to mention when you got Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and the rest of that offense doing their thing. And the defense, even though they didn't get any sacks, well, zero, zip, zilch, nada, not donut. Hey, they made enough plays to get that first win of the year. Now they take on the divisional rival, the AFC North, with, uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. We'll see what happens with that game. See if they keep that momentum going. So good luck to that team and their fan base. Now, as far as the Carolina Panthers go, <clears throat> this is their they are one and three. They're 0 and 2 at home. And no, I'm not gonna play that sucker for pain from Suicide Squad soundtrack. <laughs> No, no. This is a um, set it off soundtrack, uh, days of our lives type thing, you know. It's like, dang. It is like that all game, all day long for my Carolina. Those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you three reasons why they lost that game. First and foremost, the defense. They couldn't tackle. They couldn't cover. They couldn't do anything. They didn't even generate any pressure on that dude. And when they did generate pressure, Joe Burrow was doing the cha-cha smooth slide dancing routine. Make that throw to a running back or a tight end, whoever he was for a first down for that key play and i'm like what are you serious i mean it, it, what you want from me what you want from me? so and that one touchdown that uh that Tr they allowed from jamar chase i mean that was awful that uh, i haven't seen that tackling that bad since matt rule coached here for carolina panthers a few or several years back in fact it's been like that since i mean the tackling has just been bad Sheesh. so they're gonna have to pick up the slack because Shaq thompson went down for an injury it was his heel and it was another player for the carolina panthers I think number 47 i can't remember his name he went down with an injury he can't remember what what injury it was so yeah and that he played where they got to get the ball back and i think it was sky turtle or whoever he was jumped off size that that was a very boneheaded play by him man that was crazy and another thing uh six penalties for carolina five penalties for the cincinnati Bengals. that's reason number two they lost that game so there you go <clears throat> and last but not least key drops passes from the wide receivers from the carolina panthers you can't have that and you, you got andy dalton there sitting there thinking to himself this is what Bryce Young had to work with. My goodness. I mean, they made some plays in the first half, but the second half, they couldn't do anything. I mean, anything. And I was going to get on the, the coaching staff that, that last possession, not that last possession. I, was, I think it was second to last possession when they were backed up in their end zone. I think it was 10 or 20 yard line where they went three straight passing plays for three and out. That uh, first and 10 when they, uh, Andy Dalton threw the ball to, I think it was John Domingo, and he just blatantly dropped the ball. And I'm sitting there like, dang, it hits you right in the hand like i said i was gonna get on them for calling three straight plays but they were down by 10 points and plus they were playing from behind so it's hard to have a balance attack or have a running game going when you have when you know when your team is down by you know 31 to 17 no it was 31 to 14 excuse me so uh chubby huber he had an awesome game yet again i like to see that so yeah I'm not going to go as far as say, hey, the Carolina Panthers, you know, they, they look like an improved team. Ah, shucks, here we, we get them next time type of thing. Uh-uh, I'm not doing that rah-rah. I'm not doing that that fake positivity crap, but I'm not going to be negative. I got to be a little 50-50, got to be consistent. Cause the reason why I'm saying all this stuff, because I've seen this story. I've seen this movie played out before. His name was Matt Rule. He was the head coach for this team a few years back, and we saw what how that turned out. So we'll see what happens when go to the Windy City to take on the Chicago Bears. Oh boy, that's going to be an interesting game. All the Carolina Panthers have to do, uh, don't let Caleb Williams go off, you know, contain him, you know, don't let the other players have a field day in on the defense, and please, for the love of God, just tackle, just tackle, just do that. Play defense, just do that. Can you do that? I appreciate it. Now, as far as the Panthers offense versus the Bears defense, got to have a balance attack, but if things go sideways, they're going to have to throw the ball yet again. Do I see that happening i don't know i'm gonna sit back and watch the game see how it plays out and with that further ado throwing y'all salute what's your thoughts on today's game and next week game carolina panther fans i am out throwing y'all salute thanks for logging in and listening to this review take care have an awesome sunday